a very good evening and a very warm welcome to all of you people are guests in our story the same way we are guests in theirs but we all meet each other for a very small period and for a reason because every person is a personal lesson waiting to be told lauren tarpet the times may be trying but we have all succeeded in overcoming the initial fears take and taken determined steps to adapt and slip into the new normal as normally as possible prabha khetan foundation too has ensured that its patrons don't miss out on their regular rendezvous with prominent personalities from the world of performing arts and literature and have redesigned to go virtual enthusiasts can now experience multifarious activities from within the sanctity of their homes the foundation has been churning out various events in the effort to keep the moral morals and spirits rekindled ek mulakat is one such exclusively curated session from the prabha khetan foundation bouquet of events which on endeavors to create a space where the aficionado gets to meet some of the most celebrated icons of india and learn about their life and work we are very delighted to have with us today international kathak exponent choreographer entrepreneur producer social activist activist and author arushi nishan with us welcome arushi ji thank you so much a disciple of pandit birju maharaj ji she has performed in various international arenas recipient of the pride of uttarakhand award she has also produced a film major nirala which based on which was based on a novel written by her father ramesh pokhrial union cabinet minister of education arushi ji is also the chairperson of himalayan ayurvedic medical college and hospital in dehradun uttarakhand and the co-founder and chairperson of sparsh ganga campaign arushi also published two books dharti swarg banaungi and kalam mashal banjai in india she also established her own production house named himshi productions the wonder woman has rightfully featured in forbes middle east as the power girl for her contribution to social work and women empowerment in her and her profile was also included in the superb 100 next generation she is indeed a woman of many talents arushi has left a mark in everything she has undertaken to pursue be it her passion or profession let us embark on an enchanting interaction to know the person behind the power girl that was a very very long introduction to the very talented arushi ji who's with us today a very 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 warm welcome again to you thank you nilisha and i would like to extend my thanks to prabha khetan foundation also and thank you so much for the beautiful introduction looking forward to talk to you more great so arushi ji uh, we re i have read a long introduction on you and i'd like to ask you things that we've come to know about you so uh, starting with this sparsh ganga campaign being the co-founder and the chairperson of the campaign uh, how how did you all start this campaign how small was it back then and how has it grown and what are the major milestones that you've achieved in this um so nilisha we started in 2009 and um, we not started with a very big number but uh, yes certainly because sparsh ganga uh, initiative has started from beautiful valleys of uttarakhand so yes in 2009 with uh, with the grace of uh, hema mali ji she is our brand ambassador the lai lama ji and many of the dharam gurus uh, you know came at one platform and just pure uh, concern about environment about uh, the rivers about the trees about the small and small things which we see but we do not you know register every day we do not thank 
those aspects to be in our life every day so just to uh, pay regard and take care of all the environmental factors uh, sparsha ganga came into existence and yes up till now we have more than 5 lakhs people associated from sparsha ganga not only in india but in uh, more than 5 countries also and uh, you will be amazed to listen that uh the one thing which makes us uh, quite different from the other initiatives is we have a weekly sunday cleaning drive and doesn't matter uh, there there is a flood uh, there is so much heat or all the sparsha ganga praheris always go on sunday clean ganga ji clean yamuna ji we have in uh, lucknow we have in varanasi and there lot many teams go together to clean ganga ji and all the tributaries oh uh, that's something really commendable and i also read that earlier this year during the pandemic uh, under the sparsh ganga campaign you all distributed thousands of masks to a lot of people so how did that happen and can you tell us more about who empowered it i uh, you know what i personally believe as a person because uh A, a normal human has a tendency to see a half glass either filled or either empty so you know me and my sparsha ganga team personally decided that in this covid 19 grave time we will apt we will be going to choose a positive attitude to look into the situation and to help people and yes certainly because uh, we are talking about the khadi mask and uh, as i say that sparsha ganga is talking about all the environmental factors so you see that we are wearing uh, n95 mask and then this mask and that mask we wearing we throwing it away animals are eating and this is based on the plastic and we know plastic is forever maybe love is not forever but yes plastic is forever so uh, keeping all these factors in mind uh, we think about a sustainable uh, product and that can only be khadi because it is not only a kapda for us it has been always a matter of pride and self reliant india we talking about our dear uh, prime minister is talking about atmanirbhar bharat to aise mein uh, we thought we must take it into consideration and we uh, did not wait for anything else uh, all the women at home they took their silai machine they had sui dhaga and we started with a small initiative we uh, distributed free masks to the police we distributed free masks to our brothers you know contesting on the uh, borders and you know fighting day and night for our lives so we said raksha bandhan se pehle we going to send them a raksha kavach to you know make sure about their security and safety from this covid 19 time and yes we uh, we distributed the free khadi masks to many of the people and approximate uh, in number if i say lakhs of uh, khadi masks has been distributed by sparsha ganga and sparsha ganga team wow this is really commendable this is like respecting the people who are protecting us amidst all of this and being our tribute to them and i think sparsh ganga has, has done a beautiful job in that thank you thank you nisha so uh, arushi ji you you also choreographed uh, uh, ganga avatar and do you uh, would you tell us what that is about and does it have anything to do with the sparsh ganga campaign or is that a complete different choreography and performance altogether so uh you know what it's a very interesting fact that one you know uh you get your existence on this earth um uh, few things you always inherit and few things with the nature with your environment you develop so from my family values we have always been a very creative people i do not know what legacy i am going to carry forward but certainly uh this literature and that creative aspect of my parents i would be very very glad to take it forward and this is what exactly happened to me i become a kathak exponent and i have performed in more than 15 countries uh so i thought that my major concern and my thought always revolves around environment because i always say uh 
हमारी पहचान जब हम कहते हैं हम कहते हैं हम उस देश के वासी हैं जिस देश में गंगा बहती है और जब ये पूरे भारत की पहचान हो सकती है सो बीइंग फ्रॉम अ गर्ल फ्रॉम उत्तराखंड आई थिंक आई हैव अ मॉरल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी मोर देन एनीबडी एल्स सो दैट इज हाउ आई कनेक्टेड माय टू पैशन टुगेदर माय कथक and my concern for environment and that is how we created a very beautiful kathak ballet that's called ganga aftaran and we showcased it to many countries i become uh, a actor promoter for namami gange also that moment uh, our uma bharti bua ji was uh, heading this department and i was very fortunate that i did many series to make people aware about ganga uh, through my kathak ballet and it was a beautiful and very interesting uh, project for me and i get more and more inside that you know when people see something happening you know ganga ji when we make her embodied into a, a, a female character that kitni mushkil se wo dharti pe aayi thi unke samne kya dilemmas the aur kyun hame ganga ji ko saaf rakhna hai so all these beautiful inputs we have incorporated into our ganga avtaran and this was pre sparsh ganga campaign uh Yes, I think in two thousand nine we did the first performance of Ganga Aftaran in uh, the Parmarth, and over Ganga Ji only we created uh, a stage and we created eighty feet uh, water screen to project um, all the Ganga Aftaran, and people were quite touched about it. Yes, now it sounds totally beautiful, and I am sure the performance must have been par excellence, really. so coming to kathak as you mentioned you're a kathak exponent and you performed internationally also in over 15 countries uh, when did you start with kathak and how did it become a passion for someone in the family into kathak or how did you get into it can you tell us about it so my mother was always been into music and she also taught kathak but uh, as a responsibility comes uh, she was a principal also so you know चीजें छूटती चली जाती हैं एंड दैट इज हाउ वी रियली नीड टू यू नो रिस्पेक्ट आवर वुमेन बिकॉज दे लीव देयर पैशन देयर प्रोफेशन जस्ट टू रेज एयर किड्स बट वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग हैपन टू मी वेन आई वॉज अ चाइल्ड एंड मे बी ऑल द पीपल लिसनिंग टू दिस स्टोरी दे विल समवेयर गेट टच एंड आई एम श्योर दैट विल गिव अ गुड किक टू देम वेन आई वॉज क्वाइट यंग आई टू बी वेरी वेरी छवि and uh, i have always been picked out from the group of the dance for the annual function mm-hmm. and uh, one time i really dared and i asked my dance teacher that why it's me you know every time you pick me out of the group why so she said that tum thodi si moti ho and you know when you are small when you are you're a child then small small things you know stays in your heart Uh, मैं ये नहीं बोलूंगी कि उसी दिन से मैंने डिसाइड कर लिया था फर्स्ट थिंग आई डिड आई वेंट बैक टू माय होम एंड आई क्राइड अ लॉट फॉर टू थ्री आवर्स एंड देन आई डिसाइडेड नो आई एम श्योर दैट वन डे विल कम एंड आई विल बी परफॉर्मिंग आई बिकम फॉर दिस परफॉर्मिंग आर्ट एंड आई प्रूव माई सेल्फ एंड नीलिशा फ्रॉम देर माई जर्नी स्टार्टेड इट वॉज that moment i was in fifth sixth standard and that time i started taking kathak classes and um, very interestingly after many years i become iccr uh, graded artist i become a doordarshan graded artist and i become a part of spic mec which goes to different schools and colleges and they take their uh, special teachers and performer to the schools and i happen to uh, land into my own school and i performed there and my dance teacher was there and i asked her ki i hope ma'am i'm not moti now i think i'm fit for this dance and she was in all tears and that is you know beauty and uh, beauty of your victory when you know you decide upon something and you achieve it wow that's that's truly a very motivating and inspirational story of uh, you know usually they say if you're a performer in any of the classical arts and dance uh you start from a very young age at maybe 3 or 4 or 5 and given that you went the fifth standard maybe around 10 years of age and reaching right there at, to your own institution in a different way was must have been a big moment that time 
So uh, you've recently made a movie. Your first movie was launched in 2018. How did you get into making a movie? And can you tell us more about the movie? Uh, yeah, I I started with my conversation stating that my family is uh, very creative, and we all have been, you know. uh when i was very small i wrote two books you just mentioned and uh, my family discussion on dining or on the lunch has always been very creative uh, we used to ask each other that what what exactly which project we are working on and if everybody knows that my father has also uh, wrote many many of the books my my mother was a writer and you know i mean uh, when you are creative you always looking the horizon to you know excel more in the uh, in the creative field and uh, one day i realized that uh, cinema is a very good mean to project your feel and your uh, you know your aim and it is a good media that you can show people that what exactly you want to work because that influence people to the core of their heart we all know that we smile we laugh in the movie and we always come back with a strong message so that is how it, it inspired me to you know get into production and yes we made the, our first regional movie which is based on my father's novel major nirala as a beautiful motivating story about a soldier coming back home and how you know I mean from uttarakhand average each family uh, member is in the family uh, is in the army so yes it's a very beautiful and inspiring uh, story we brought to everybody and it had a major success two years back yes many congratulations on that yeah. and talking about movies do you have any plans of coming into bollywood or making a bollywood movie or being a part of bollywood in any way given the craze of bollywood in our country yes nilisha i have many plans and uh, very uh, recently we have not announced officially yet but uh, uh, we are working on two and three uh, uh, movie bollywood movies project and because in this covid 19 time lot many things has changed then you have to change your creative way to reach people and uh, that's absolutely about ott platforms and we have started making few of the ott ott web series as well and uh, soon i'm going to announce uh, on few of the uh, projects our dear prasoon joshi ji is a very uh, big and acclaimed uh, writer lyricist uh he's also working on and a very big uh, directors film actors is working uh with us on few of the bollywood projects yes wow uh, we'll be very excited to see whenever it's it comes okay. okay. i don't know where that disturbance came from and as you can see the uh you know how we've adapted to this virtual setup because of the and uh, <laughs> so uh, on screen you see that so arushi ji aap come uh, talking about movies and you also mentioned both your parents are authors and uh, your father's father has written a number of books so and you have also authored two books so can you tell us about those books and uh, did writing come very naturally to you because of your family or was it an attempt in a special way i think i wrote my first poem when i was in fourth standard and uh, even when i think about it i feel very mesmerized and surprised and how could i even think uh, right now i don't get much of the time to think and to write because of very very busy schedule i have to travel a lot and many things keep me occupied but uh, yes i wrote two poem collections uh, one is dharti swarg banaungi and which is a pure intention that you know uh, when you are young you have so many inspirations and my only and only motive is to inspire and give a small wake up call to our young generation and my second collection is uh, kalam mashal ban jaye so you can you know uh, understand that that um, yes mean my both books are uh, trying to motivate young brains more and more aur main har bar ek kahani bhi bolti hu main batati hu ki jab hanuman ji uh, samudra paar karke sita maiya ko lekar lautna tha to unhe pata nahi tha ki wo samudra paar karke ja sakte hain 
and that is a beautiful story about him that there uh, he has given a wake up call there he has been counseled and then wo pura samudra par karke sita maiya ko bacha kar lot ke aate hain and that is how our youth need a small wake up call a small counseling who are filled with lot of you know zeal and lot of enthusiasm they need to uh, realize that they can do so much they have not even thought about so great talking about the youth and the young minds of our uh, nation uh, you've got, you've gotten so many awards and recognition and you've also been uh, crowned as uh, champions of the change you've received that award earlier this year and you've come to become a youth icon of for the nation so how does it feel like becoming a youth icon and can you tell us more about your journey of uh, how you went about inspiring the youth of the country i really don't know whether i have achieved much you are saying that so i feel very proud yes i have done something uh, but i will again state that i have done very little very little up till now and there is a long way to do things um uh, i feel certainly very motivated because uh, awards are a big way to you know motivate yourself to work far and far good in the areas um i do not know whether we can say that anybody is uh, uh you know a youth icon because i believe each and every youth is icon him or herself in just this is important that they should know what exactly they want to do and this is my work i always go to many universities as parshaganga has uh, connected 80s uh, colleges from uh, delhi university and 140 school colleges from uttarakhand and many of other uh, state school and colleges so whenever we meet this youth uh, i feel very excited about because i believe they have something extraordinary in them is just we need to you know give them a good shape and uh, second thing um, we all who have achieved a little in their life uh we always you know fight into one of the dilemma i mean i'm sure a lot of celebrities and a lot of people you're uh, calling them here uh people should think and see their different aspect also you know i mean they are human being so even though if you think that somebody is your idol your icon then please don't state that they are your god you know i mean they are human they have all right to do mistakes they have all right to be just human uh, what you really need to do just uh, get inspiration from their work and uh, not be like them uh, be exclusive be real be raw and continuing the same line of thought what do you think our country's youth is doing right and what are they not doing right what are they getting wrong uh i think so uh I mean this is my completely a personal view and i will not say i'm influenced it's just my uh, experience uh in india we have a great number and strength of youth mind if you say we talk about google we talk about facebook we talk about any big company uh, there's always a indian brain which is running that setup so is baat mein koi dohraye nahi hai that our people our uh, youth has lot of potential again i'll bring you on the same topic that it should not be diverted uh, because many times i felt that raising voice is not a bad thing wo kehte hai na ki aapki azadi dusre ke liye arajakta na ban jaye us baat ko samajhne ki zarurat hai and uh, your freedom doesn't give you a liberty to you know make that noise which hurting lot of people with which you know uh killing lot of people so be on the right track understand what you want to do don't get confused yourself i think this is the only mantra i have for the india youth that don't get distracted just be you know uh concentrated and do whatever you want to do i think that's a very powerful thought like you know you you kind of saying a message that you know you use your freedom very mindfully don't create havoc on and divert into other people's territory so 
uh, that's a really good point to be noted. And uh, continuing that topic only, do you think the dependence of te- uh, our youth on technology and even now, you know, more than youth, I think it's going on to other generations as well, especially during this pandemic, like we're all so dependent on technology. So is it okay or, you know, or, or, or not? Or do we need to create a, some kind of a check? I agree with you. And uh, all of us, it doesn't matter. It's youth, it's young people, even though I'll talk about the elder generation also. Like everybody sitting on the dining table, for food, but everybody is into their phones. You know, we never uh, miss to uh, catch a new update on the Facebook, on Instagram or anywhere. Uh, Yes, yes. So I think, you know, uh, this is good that India is growing larger and larger on the technology side. But yes, we need to remember that we have to keep ourselves in the check. Uh, Let's talk about this COVID-19 time. This is the first time people get time to talk to each other. I mean, uh, touch wood, I feel very fortunate that I never ever get this much time with my father. At least we were having dinner together. I mean, I cannot, I I never had dinner with my father in that, you know, um, three days in continuation. So I feel very, very uh, content, very glad and thankful to this time. At least we got to talk. So, you know, a lot of things with the technology we are missing, like the place we are sitting in, maybe there is a bird who's chirping. There are a lot of green grass. There are a lot of trees. You know, we're missing those aspects. We're missing the human touch. Maybe AI will come after some days, but still, human is human, and that human touch and emotion is very important. So uh, all the children, all the people listening out to me today, uh, take time out, be with each other, and nothing can be more beautiful than this association. That's a beautiful thought. Uh, so, Arushi, because we're all in this pandemic together, do you think working for social causes has become difficult? Or do you think this pandemic has actually brought together people to work more for good causes? Like, which way is it going? I guess it's a both ways. Because I, I saw a few people, uh, there are a lot of uh, activists are <laughs> nowadays on the social media. And uh, I am actually being sarcastic because uh, being an activist uh, doesn't mean that, you know, you start talking ill or bad about anybody and start talking about anything and any topic which doesn't concern you. But seeing the other side, yes, this grave, this uh, bad time, bring all the people together and you can see that we were very, very uh, scared that how the production change and the supply change going to work in this time. But people came out of their houses and, you know, they make sure that the goods should reach to the community in a good way. And uh, maybe they are uh, bearing losses, but they kept the humanity on, on the priority. I think this is a beauty about this time that we could really realize that, you know, being a human is the first thing and uh, here to be for the society is a bigger concern at this time. And uh, being in the middle of this pandemic, what do you feel, Arushi, that uh, what small things can we do for people who are not going out of their houses or working from home and for the general population? What, what can we do staying within the boundaries of our home as our contribution to nature, to environment and to the country? You know, very first thing, uh, by staying at home, uh, you keeping yourself and your family safe and maybe you're contributing into keep the India's uh, growing number, the Corona numbers less, you know, because we are in a huge number, we are into the huge uh, strength. Other uh, parts of the world has stopped somewhere, but we are because in the big number and our uh, social uh, gatherings, our uh, social distancing is not that good or we still not understanding that time. That is why it's still in the uh, growing number. So please stay at home. First thing that you're saving your country, you're saving your family. Uh, Second thing, if you really want to contribute, then, uh, you know, what are we all the time saying that 
water is the utmost crisis we're going to see in the upcoming years. And even though India's 22 cities has always been, you know, zero with the groundwater. And uh, there are 163 million people in the world don't get access to a clean drinking water. So I have a message for you. Even though if you use RO, we all do that. There's only 30% water you use, 70% goes waste. Think about creative uh, as we have always been. Utilize that 70% waste water, give, give them to plant, wash dishes, wash clothes, and you know make it uh, utilize beautifully. I think if we will be ourselves in this pandemic time, uh, we solve our problems. Those are some great takeaways, I think. And I'll ask you one last question and then we'll take questions from the audience. So, uh, uh, Arushi, is there anything new that you're going to do? Any new initiative that you're going to undertake? Anything upcoming that we should be aware of? So we'd like to really know anything that you haven't announced publicly apart from the Bollywood series uh, that you mentioned. So anything else that we, you can make us a part of? I think I am writing a book on the circular economy. I have not announced it yet and we keep working on it very diligently. And uh, movie I talk about Tarani, I'll say, because uh, there's going to be a woman empowerment subject. We have exclusive permissions from defense also. We're going to, uh, all the scripting has already done and uh, we are just waiting this time to get all, go on the shooting. Uh, rest, other web series, books, and with the Sparsha Ganga, a lot of initiative we keep thinking about. Uh, we launched Selfie with my Sparsha Tree last 2nd August with Namami Gange. And uh, uh, from last year up till now, we have planted more than 2 lakhs of trees. So we're going to extend this uh, Selfie with my Sparsha Tree in a bigger way. All the mask uh, making and distribution always taking place. And yes, on the circular economy, uh, we are uh, trying to give more and more employment to the women and uh, taking good care of the environment as well. Wow, those are some great things to keep looking uh, forward to from your desk that we'll be seeing in the very near future. Thank you. So I think I had a beautiful conversation with you and now I'd like to take questions from the audience. We have one question in the question box. I'm starting with that. Surbi Jha wants to ask, I'll just read out her question. Yeah. Good evening, ma'am. So interesting and inspiring to hear your initiatives. I just wanted to ask that as Khadi being a very expensive cloth material, how are you able to generate the costs and succumb to the demands to generate them as masks? Uh, Survi, it's a very beautiful question. And uh, I agree with you, Khadi is a, a little expensive mask. And uh, uh, for adding into your information, we started with a Suti mask also. All the cloths at home, we sanitized it and we made masks from that also. Talking about Khadi, yes, it is expensive, but I believe uh, when Mahatma Gandhi ji brought this into the existence, we have always one and only one objective that we have to, uh, we want to make India more self-reliant. And again, we are coming back to the same point. So you see within the five years, uh, Khadi industry has grown, uh, grown quite bigger and there's a almost 175% approximate, uh, the market has grown up. And this Khadi industry has created 2.1 uh, million jobs. So, you know, we, uh, we are looking up to that uh, side more that we have to be self-reliant and we have to try to make something more accessible, uh, which is creating employment and which is taking good care of the environment also. Uh, yes. So we are glad that we are contributing in a little bit. In I'm sure your question's answered, Surbi. Would you want to ask anything further than that? Or any other questions? Okay, I don't think we have any other questions. Uh, so I'd like to end on this note uh, with a very big thank you to you, Arushi Nishanji, for joining us today and to Prabha Khedan Foundation. Uh, and especially Ek Mulakat for arranging this beautiful setup. Uh, it was a pleasure to have you with us.
thank you everyone for joining in today and listening to us thank you so much nisha thank you everyone thank you